everyone and welcome to the final arc of this region. We're gonna burn out the academia to save our little child, Nahida. But before we do that, you know the rules. Let's check what we have in this update. Ah, this one. Man, I feel so sorry for your Mia. Oh boy. Yep, this is gonna be a challenge. Nahida quest. Of course, a new boss. Okay, we have this. And now, this. You know that was, guys. Three pulls. Let's see how lucky I am. Hmm, this is a little different, that user. Okay, this was the first time. Perfect, a Bennett. I think I am already overpowered Bennett, but let's see. And last one, let's see. Wait. Oh, no, I think this is the wrong part. I thought it was the one with the crit rate. But the item, my luck. Well, I tie. But the good news is that I have maybe a C6 Bennett. No, not. Huh? Is it okay, Rich? He says that I can reach 15, but I'm 30 here. Why cannot? Hey, who can do? But yeah, this is the A team for this. The Geodad and the Mami Electro, they're gonna save the little child. And Cory and Barbara are here for support. So, oh, let's not dwell too much and do this quest. Okay, wait until next day. Okay, let's train travel. Everyone is already waiting inside. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's join them! Please. Wait a moment. Oh yeah, I just... I... I may kind of make a mistake because I have something to say before I start. Yeah, an answer was made the day before. Yeah, the Baladir and Miko, they're gonna be in the game. And... Oh, did I? Ah, oh, yeah, I'm saying the Baladir. Again, these characters have like three or four names. And the Delta either, and something is some conf kind of confusing. But yeah, the Scaramus, aka, AKA Baladio, aka the Wonder, is gonna be playable. So, yeah, here's how we gonna do that. How we gonna redeem him if that's gonna happen. And then I kinda see it that we're gonna factory set him for some reason. I hope he's not gonna be just pulled under the rug to say just to be playable. Because that's gonna be a mistake that's gonna bite them back. Before attending the meeting, I hope you can promise me one thing. What do you need? Promise me that you won't commit to anything too reckless. Hmm. What do you think? Yep, we're gonna try, but can't promise anything. Okay. Talking. We already discussed things a bit. Hey, where have you been? I've missed you two. Are you ready? 
Yes, no, let's decide the academia. Very well. Are you sure this is gonna work? I gotta admit, it's bold. Color me impressed. Hmm. It's worth a try. The point of discussion is to arrive at a solution. Let's cut the small talk and move to the next point. Uh, you're making Paimon nervous. You're finally done. I have some other stuff to take care of. Catch you all later. Come on, don't give me that face. I know what you're going to say. I'll be careful. That's what I wanted to hear. Take care. Well, Traveler, Paimon, judging from your expressions, the meeting must have been quite productive. No idea. You can tell? I'm not that good at scheming a strategy, but I can sense people's emotions. And based on your reaction, things must have gone quite well. Really? We're gonna wait for another time? That, what is Gen Gal Bah? I cannot say this word at all. Uh, Paimon's a little worried. Hopefully nothing will go wrong. Paimon, of course something's gonna go wrong. But the fact we still have to wait another day, consider that been days now while Nahida is under arrest. Again, I'm not gonna let this go. You have us going so far in the desert to, to help our grandpa and his grandson. Consider that Nahida is kidnapping and Dotoi and Skamos are doing who knows what. This is under pressure. To be honest, I feel the same. But you're already some of the most capable people I know. So you have my trust. <laughs> Candace gave us a compliment. Your deeds speak for themselves. Candace, we stayed behind to tell you that, although you won't be coming with us, we'll be sure to remember your words. I'm very glad to hear that. I've said the same thing to everyone here today as I said to you when you arrived. Your safety is the most important thing. Only when you're safe can the plan be successful. So please, take care. We're gonna die. You're welcome. And thank you for taking my advice. Good luck. With everything. I'll be here in the village praying for you. Hmm, sounds good. I'll go make some preparations. Okay. I'll hit them! Have you finished saying your goodbyes? Yeah! Also, Candace told everyone to be careful. Yes, she did. But I think my point also bears repeating. Our plan is not child's play. We won't be able to achieve anything if we're simply careful. We must go beyond that and fully commit ourselves to it. I hope this is clear to you. Don't worry, we're used to this. Huh? Shouldn't you be saying something more cheerful to boost our morale right now? Didn't we already do that during the meeting? You can never have enough words of encouragement. In that case, Candace can cuddle you to your heart's content while I continue to remind you of the seriousness of our situation. We all have our jobs to do, after all. It's like how some people can be put in charge of logistics while others will fight on the front lines. Hmm. Speaking of the front lines, you don't look anything like a soldier. Are you sure about that? He's buff. Well, of course. Compared to the mercenaries, I'm merely a feeble scholar. But the advantage of not being a mercenary is that I get to stay in a safer place and offer my strategic insight. Didn't you actually class with Sino not too long ago? 
Just think about that mercenary who lost his mind. Mercenary groups are facing constant danger every single day. Well, being a scholar is also a high-risk occupation, and you are a scholar! And I feel this is gonna drag out so long. We're gonna have this shit chat with the others. I don't kinda mind, but again, we kinda get, we kinda see the gears, how there's gonna go in this game already. We have three nations to see the patterns already. I'm not like the rest of them. Even among members of the same species, some will exhibit far more potential than others. Sure, cyborg. Remembers when those mercenaries in Port Ormos called you a lunatic. <laughs> All intellectuals are lunatics in the eyes of fools. I'll take that as a compliment. Hmm. That reminds me. Do you remember the record we saw in the King Deshret ruins? It mentioned forbidden knowledge. You have a good memory. Forbidden knowledge has the power to drive people insane. But this fact has never been shared with the public. Even I, who has worked in the academia for some time, was never once informed of this. I think... Those mad scholars and mercenaries we encountered may have all fallen victim to the corrupting qualities of forbidden knowledge. But the academia has always held a different view. They have always believed that symptoms of madness are a side effect of human contact with divine knowledge as mere mortals. Come to think of it, Perhaps the academia has also never understood the true nature of forbidden knowledge, and thus always approached the issue from the wrong direction. The Withering, Elazar, and the Sandstorms. Don't you think what is happening right now across Sumeru is rather similar to the forbidden knowledge pollution that occurred in the desert thousands of years ago? I guess we have to go and discover and finally fight the bus. But Paimon thought that Ermansoul's disease is what caused the withering in the sandstorms. At least, that's what Tainari told us. Wait a second. Could it be that... Ah, you've connected the dots. The cause of Ermansoul's illness may precisely be the pollution from forbidden knowledge. Case, what should we do? This is huge. Wait, why do you think Lesser Lord Kusanali would have a solution to this situation? You mean it's related to the scene you saw when you passed out in the Avidia Forest? That whole the world forget me thing? Hmm. In that case, it's imperative that we rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali. Only by working with her to save Ermansoul can we completely resolve the problem Sumeru currently faces. Yes, let's do that. Although now I want to think. I think I can actually make a theory. Because if you remember the teaser, no, the cutscene, where Kana is revealed that Ruka the Vata Kana reborn herself as Nahida. Or, yeah, I think that's actually what happened. And because of the divine knowledge, it's like she. It's kind of a meme in the ACP world, if you guys know. But in case you don't, I'm gonna try to explain. So, in order to anything to be back together to. You remove the what it was called Amazon or you know the the G the core and the here half no, not the here the one that she guns. In order to that to happen, we have to forget Ruka Davata. That's what keeps this disease still going. Maybe or maybe I pulled that for my ass. To make sure we're still on track, I would like to check on the state of some of our preparatory work. To an Aramite base. Oh, come on, we're not gonna check now the bases. Are you kidding me? We're gonna go now and do side quests? I'm really going a little down with my patience here. Oh, you made it. Huh? What are they doing here? 
I gave them some technical work to do. Ah, it's the scribe. And is that the traveler I see? How's the work going? Ah, yes. We have fixed the devices according to your instructions. One of them is already ready for use, while the others are still under repair. Aren't those devices for can knowledge extraction? What are you doing with those? Look here. Really, we're now gonna trade with this stuff now, consider that we have to get ready for the battle? Again. We kind of in the place and we have no time to play games. Huh? Uh, more kid knowledge? Are you going to put more weird stuff into his head again? What's that look on your face? Are you scared? Paimon's a little scared, but very, very furious! Okay, guys, I want to tell you a little trivia about it. When we try one of these canvas trials at the very early game, we actually increase in attack points, not a much, but a little. At least from what I saw from trivia videos. And that can be a really interesting thing that we actually get a little stronger in stats, to say. Hmm. That's an interesting response. Anyway, we're not going to use this just yet. As I mentioned during the meeting, this knowledge capsule contains a decree I drew up in the past. The Academia should also have their own copy. And according to the plan we just came up with... Traveler, I want you to record something into this capsule. Huh? Do you call something? Do you believe we can save Lesser Lord Kusanali? Good. Conviction is the most important part of all of this. Now, please get ready and put on this device. You want us to record our conviction into the knowledge capsule? Yes. Uh, Paimon is still really worried. I understand. But trust me, Paimon, this is something we have to do. It's best if you can do as I say. Because, to achieve this impossible task, it sounds like you'll need to fool your own heart first. Although it may feel like a trick, self-encouragement may be the most important tool we have. Hmm. Paimon can see the point you're trying to make. I have two Alcans in the team. I think we match uh, Radiant prefer. Imagine this. We have orchestrated our plan and successfully rescued Lesser Lord Kusanali. As a result, we have changed Sumeru's entire political landscape. Oh yeah, the line that I kind of heard in the trailer. I was kind of surprised they're actually going to showcase the aftermath of that, Consider that we have to do this in the first place. So this is going to be kind of the reason. We're going to enter a simulation in this. Everything went without a hitch. And everyone recognizes and praises our achievements. Okay, what's your point again? Now, open your eyes. Here. What's this? It's not one of those Read things. It out loud. Oh, it's a piece of paper. It's done. Is your head okay? Does anything hurt? It's just a recording. There should be no negative effects. But what was the point of doing this? Ugh, Paimon doesn't get it. And that's perfectly fine. In any case, these capsules aren't meant to be used by you. Huh? What do you mean? Have you forgotten? Our plan needs to account for those who have long relied on the Akasha. I don't know why, but count how many times Paimon says that this arc only... What do you mean? And that's really getting annoying. You may find it hard to believe, but for those people, everything the Akasha transmits to them is nothing short of absolute truth. Imagine if you've been using a device like the Akasha since the day you were born. 
and this device has always supported you during times of need. After all that time, what do you think you'd become? Okay, I don't think actually everyone uses uh, has their gun. Actually, I don't think I start this with the, the Akasha one. It's a tool, not something you have to go on. I mean, yeah, I can resist a weekend without the net or even electricity, but I think again, it's kind of going a little too fast. Uh, a fool? A machine? A slave to orders. And that's why rules are so important. In addition, those who understand the rules can delineate boundaries and identify gray areas. Hmm. But why would you need to identify the gray areas? You could say that those kinds of ambiguous zones can be very... interesting. One might even say they're advantageous in the right hands. Things you're interested in? Are all Samaru scholars like this? Anyway, that's enough chit chat. I'm going to take those two to work on some small projects. You can head to Caravan Rebots and start preparing for the next step. Small projects? We are going to tinker with the Akasha terminal and make a few modifications. Really, dude? Really? Why do I feel he's gonna betray us? I mean, come on, dude. 